Righteous on the beat. back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sin and welcome to my channel and this is video two of my surgery i guess series or whatever so in today's video like i said in the last video i'm going to be showing you guys what i am taking for my surgery i have a literally a bag that's just full of stuff for after my surgery so if you guys have any questions regarding where i'm going who i'm going to how much it costs anything like that check out my first video where i explain everything and you'll get all those answers so without further ado let's just go ahead and get right into this video okay so the first thing like first and most important thing for me to take in my opinion is printed out documents of everything i have going on i literally have my own when they tell me stuff i have that printed in here i have my all of my own stuff i had to get done at the doctor in here the papers that they told me to read in here i need to go print out um like my the other stuff i need to print out just everything like pay stubs, hospital stuff um the emails where they be like we got all of your information all of that because the place i'm going to a lot of people do say that they try to play and this is too much money being spent to get down there and something they acting like something wrong no everything's whatever you don't got i got so <laughs> yeah don't play with me so just documentation of everything that you done did that you feel like you may need all of that's in this folder and then this is two things that i got off of amazon which i still have them in this amazon package just in case but i feel like they're kind of they might be too small but and if they are then i'm just gonna keep them in the packaging and send them back to amazon and i'm just gonna buy what the ones that they have and if not i'm going to use them but this right here is my ab board which i can i honestly feel like it's just too small but ab board and then this is supposed to be my backboard to do like it's supposed to be like this on your back and to give you like that curve or whatever and yeah so my app and my backboard, like I said, I got it from Amazon, but I feel like it might be too small for my torso. So I'm just keeping them in this actual Amazon packaging so that in their back will be easy. Next, which I got off from Amazon as well, which I'll try to have everything that's off of Amazon link down below. But I got compression socks. I got, I believe, I got five. So I got five pair. They're the 2030, I believe, compression. But yeah, you want compression socks for your legs and your feet. You want the ones that come up your legs to help with like not getting blood clots and stuff. And I got black because I don't want, if I'm draining or anything, I don't want it to get on um, to color white socks. Like I don't want to do that. And I got five so that I can take it off. Put another one on. I got to worry about, oh, wash my socks. And then I ain't got no socks. No, I was got socks. And then next, I got some drip from Walmart. <laughs> So they say you just want something easy to slip on, slip off, and then I got them in a size large to extra large because I don't want it to be stuck on me. I want it to just be comfortable. So I got one in black. Probably should have got all of them black, but hey, whatever. Which I probably wear my blue one on the third day. Can hope that I be, don't be draining that fast. But it just says let's snuggle, and then I got a gray one. It says oh dear. So this is my post-op drip, and the place that I'm at, they wash clothes and stuff. So I'ma just be like, when you wash my faha, wash my clothes, you know? Well, please. <laughs> I ain't gonna just say it like that. So next, again, off of Amazon, I got me some lipo phones. I got these five sheets. So I know you use three, so I have two for backup, but yeah, lipo phones, they're supposed to go inside of your faha. You could put on your lipo phones, your ab boards, and then your faha to give that good compression. So I got five because at the place I'm going, they sell either one for 20 or three for 20, and I got five for 20. Why not? Next, again, I think it's from Amazon. I got Arnica tablets. Yeah, this is from Amazon. Which a lot of people tell you just a lot of Arnica. Get some Arnica because it helps with bruising, swelling, stiffness, pain, and muscle soreness. So I got these tablets. And it's 50 that come in here. I got it off Amazon again. This is what it looks like. You can get Arnica tablet, Arnica gel, or um, Arnica tea. I just decided to do the Arnica pills. And then the next thing that I got is the hemp, it's the Arvisa Premium Hemp Extract Hemp Cream that has Arnica, turmeric, and aloe vera in its maximum strength. I had got this instead of Arnica gel. Why? I don't know. But still got some. They um massage you and stuff, so I'm just gonna probably be like, hey, when you massaging me, can you use some of this if it helps? But yeah, so it's supposed to help with like, when they massaging you with pain and stuff like that, we'll see what it do. But again, got this off of Amazon. Next, I found Amazon. Also, I got a urinal because if you did not know, it was a female urinal. 
you have to use these to use the bathroom because you're not supposed to sit down only when you're going to poop and you still need to sit down a certain way when you're trying to poop so it's just easier to pee with one of these so i got this off amazon as well and it comes with a thing next i got this from walmart but i just got the vaseline intensive care soothing hydration lotion and they got aloe in it i think it's aloe yeah aloe vera i had got this one because i watched a girl's video and she was like with lipo it kind of like dries your skin out makes your skin dry so you want a very moisturizing lotion which i use this brand lotion anyway is on my bed but i usually use the cocoa butter one but she highly recommended the one with aloe so i just went and bought this one so now i just said when i run out of the cocoa butter i'll just start using this but i will start using this after my surgery because the day of surgery you're not supposed to put any lotion on anything like that you, put, you need to be ashy don't put nothing on nothing on like your face on your body nothing you have to go in they ashy so yeah got this lotion a person in my surgery group recommended to get cough drops i just got equate cherry cough drops because it was like after getting light bulb if you get um like a dry cough or something it hurts to cough it hurts to laugh they say all the other good stuff because your stomach is you just got done get out it's done to your stomach so i just got cough drops just in case if i get like a dry cough or something get me a cough drop to hope and to help soothe that so that i don't hurt myself and then next i got tylenol because if you did not know you're not supposed to take basically anything but tylenol for pain relief or anything during the surgery so I have Tylenol Rapid Release and then Tylenol PMs. Cause they give you pain medicine, but if you take all of your pain medicine they give you, they're not giving you no more cause they're not trying to be like, you know, oh, they got me addicted to these pain meds. No, you do not. So take you some Tylenol to kind of like take, if it's not bad pain, but if it's like unbearable pain, then take the medicine that they actually prescribe you. I also got some hemp gummies. These are the AFX Mate ultra premium hemp gummies it's the 30,000 milligram they're rich in omega 369 vitamin e and vitamin b and you get 60 of them and it's supposed to help with like pain and stuff and just you take them up until your surgery and then keep taking them after your surgery until they're out i also read about this in a surgery group that i am in so i said well let me just try some these are what they look like again off of amazon i'm hoping that these really do work because the girl said using these like before her surgery after her surgery before she went for like um her massages and stuff it just helped to kind of like make the pain not as bad so next some dow because you know you got to wash with antibacterial soap so i got two bars of dow um some people get like actual wound wash i had about dow so i was like bumping it i mean it's the same not the same thing but you just have to have antibacterial soap so don't go in there thinking you about to be using some dove no get you some regular dow i got the spring water so i'm going to start using this tomorrow because i actually leave like my pre-op is tomorrow and you have to wash with this before your surgery and then wash with this after your surgery so get you some dow so and then next i don't actually have the box but i have some colace regular strength stool softener in 100 milligrams they're going to tell you to get these and you have to take these i think two days up two days before your surgery and then until after you start taking your pain medicine because you can get constipated if you don't do right i also i'm gonna put a um a picture of it up here because i don't have it in my room and then i don't but you need some mucus i don't know but you need that it's just a fiber thing you want to start taking that I, you both take it like after your surgery but i started taking it now just to up my fiber intake to get my body you know in the flow of things beforehand so you're going to have to be taking stool softeners and also upping your fiber intake just to try to prevent having constipation because you don't want to be sitting on your butt for 30 minutes to an hour trying to poop like you don't want that and you don't want to be flexing your stomach muscles like that trying to poop so take your stool softeners to get your mucil, 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 whatever you pronounce it and do right okay so yeah so next i had just got some pads which i think i'm going to take out of here and keep half home and take half with me but yeah anyway maxi pads they're supposed to help with like draining down the, the incisions just put them up there and it's soak it and just change it every so often so i honestly might take them because i'm going to be down there for a little while i was just gonna take the whole thing but yeah i just got the equate brand maxi pads the super i couldn't find the i guess extra super but yeah got these and then the last thing in here y'all don't y'all don't come for me okay but i got me some adult diapers 
These are the always discreet brand. They're the, the underwear. I got them in an XL because people was like, you want to get them larger because you don't want them to be stuck on you. Like, you don't want that. You want to be comfortable. And this is supposed to help with, like, again, the excisions and stuff. So, if I guess if I don't use the pads, I use the diapers. And then, also, I know one lady, she was just like, you hate getting up, like, going back and forth to the bathroom because you have to drink mad water. Like, you got to stay hydrated. And you're just going to be hating to get up, go down, get up, go down to go use the bathroom. She said she just went in her little diaper and called it a day. <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but that's a good idea. Like, if you done got up for the fourth time today and your legs hurting, let it go, babe. Just... Between, it's between him and God at this point, or whoever and God. But yeah, got me some adult diapers. I am missing a few things, like my faha. I'm not getting till I get down there. I'm gonna get two fahas, but I'm gonna get them from I don't know exactly where yet. But I'm just gonna look around and find a place to get me some fahas. I'm gonna get my BBL pillow from up there when I go up there. I honestly think that's all I need. I gotta get some scar cream. I wanna get the bio oil, but I'm gonna wait because I'm not gonna need it until after my stuff clothes and stuff. But if if it's anything that I forgot that I'm also getting, I'll just leave it on the screen because I just can't remember off the top of my head. But so you guys, that is everything that I have packed for my BBL. I leave tomorrow. I'll be heading down to Florida to Miami tomorrow and I'll be getting my surgery on the second. So just stay tuned. I'll be posting my journey. The next video on this should be my vlog. I'm thinking of vlogging pre-op surgery day and post-op day all together in one vlog. Those three days put together into a vlog and then just start doing videos of, and then do a vlog of like me in my first week. So just stay tuned. I'll be having videos coming about it. If you have any questions or just interested in anything else, comment down below and I'll try to answer to the best of my ability. Hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video and this is Sam signing out. Peace. Dice is on the beat.